Hello. This video is going to review the assignment of RFID cards or badges to particular delegate names using Televix CoCon Meeting Manager. Before you get started, you'll need to have a USB RFID card reader attached to your computer that's running Meeting Manager. This is a sample picture of one. You can purchase that directly through Televix. So once you've got that's con that connected, you're going to want to open up your Meeting Manager and open up one of the meeting templates that you're working from. I've already done that. From the main landing page, you'll click Database Management, and this is where you'll have the list of all the delegates you've already put in. We have other videos that go into creation of delegates more in depth, uh, so we're gonna skip past that part. One thing we do wanna pay attention to up in the center here is we have the name of the RFID card reader connected to my computer. If you don't see a badge reader up here, or badge writer, write this information, you can click refresh readers and it should pull up uh, any reader that is connected. If there's any issues uh, with it seeing it, I would recommend uninstalling and reinstalling the drivers for it. But uh, in this case, we have one reader and we're gonna go ahead and pick one of the delegates, so Amanda Cook. What we're gonna wanna do is highlight her name and click edit over in this section, in the details section. That gives us the ability to fill in any of this information we want, may want to. But it will also allow one more thing to happen. If you look in the upper right at badge number, I'm going to touch a badge to my reader, and you'll see that the badge number populates. Now, if I lift the badge back off the reader before I save, you see it takes the badge number away. So the process is going to be getting the badge that you want assigned to this person, set it on, and leave it on the reader, while it's on there, click Save, and now that badge number is associated with Amanda Cook. You'll see it goes away when I take it off the reader, but if I click on Amanda's name again, we'll see the badge number there. And then you can just repeat the process for any of these other names in here. We'll grab Colton Matthews, same thing. We'll select Edit, grab a different RFID card, and different badge number populates. We click Save, and that badge number is now associated. So it's simple as that for assigning badges. Another thing you can do with badges is set up a backup or secondary badge that could be given to maybe a second-in-command, someone that could uh, you know, sit in as proxy or whatever for uh, that particular person. So to do that, when we go back to edit, we have already have our primary badge number in here. So by default, we're not going to overwrite the badge number, but when we set another badge down, it's going to populate the backup badge number. So we could just click Save, and it will be kept. And what happens if a badge is just lost? We'll go back in and edit Amanda Cook's name again. And let's get rid of the old badges. Let's say they're gone, someone took them with them and didn't bring them back, or what have you. So you'll get this message. Confirm that you want to remove the badges. I'm removing both badges from the system. So now the old badges are gone. Set a new badge down and click save and the new badge data is saved. A few other interesting things about the badges. Let's say you found a badge on the ground and you don't know who it belongs to. Simply take that badge while you're in the delegate management and set it on the reader. If it belongs to somebody, the uh, management page will automatically jump to their name. So this badge belonged to Colton Matthews. Take it off, it goes away. Put another badge on and this is Amanda's badge. And if the badge is unassociated with anybody, so let's grab a badge that's not in our database, and we set it to the reader, what automatically happens is it fills in the badge number, and you'll notice over here that edits grayed out because it's automatically editing. It's ready for you to click save. So this kind of helps speed up our workflow if we're doing lots and lots and lots of unique cards, and we're maybe just working off big attendance roster, Put your card on, type your information in, click save, remove card, repeat the process. Takes a few clicks out of it. Thanks for watching.